Hey everyone, welcome to the Sugar Geek Show. Today we have a very special guest, Danette Short with Shortcakes, who's going to be showing us how to make a gorgeous buttercream cake using acrylics. Okay, so we are going to put together an eight inch round. And the way that I like to do it is with acrylics. There are many ways to get your straight, smooth edges, your sharp edges, but this is the way that I prefer. Um, you need two and then you need your cake board to fit whatever size cake that you've got. And then you're going to need a sheet of wax paper that's cut out to fit your acrylic round and try to make sure that it's not overlapping on the edge. Then take a little bit of tape and because this usually leaves a residue and I have to take glue gone, or goo gone and uh, go over this. I usually just do the four sides and the one in the middle. That's really all that you need. Um, I think other people do this different ways. I don't know. But I put my tape where this open side is facing in because I'm going to later come through and I will slide my, my scraper or whatever this thing is called, spatula with it, and it's going to pop that tape off. Uh, you want to work with chilled cakes, it's easier to handle. The acrylic round that I'm using is half an inch wider than my cake and that's going to give me a solid wall here to work with of buttercream. Typically when I'm making my cakes I use ganache, so I like to use ganache down here in South Texas. So that way I can use Swiss meringue um, and cover with fondant. I am not a fan of covering Swiss meringue with fondant down here in this tropical weather. It doesn't, even if you're rolling it really thin, by the time you get it to 75 degrees, you can see the fondant's going to start sagging. Okay, so what I do from here is I just pop it in the freezer. So I'm filling this with a little bit of lemon curd. And then we're going to cover with buttercream. I like the second layer of buttercream because I want just a thin layer of the lemon curd and I don't feel that's enough between layers. <laughs> so I put the buttercream on top of it. And it's a good mix between the two flavors. This is a vanilla buttercream.
And that's it guys, that is how you make your very own buttercream cake using acrylic rounds. You might also be interested in Danette's other video on how to make beautiful buttercream flowers. Until then, I'm Liz Merrick. Thanks so much for watching.